Yeah, an awful story to tell you the least. Stephen and Heather, if this little girl doesn't get you to act, I don't know what will. Tonight, she is begging for your help. And like you said, that shooter is still out there. And we're going to try and get some tips and uh, get this person who did it. We're going to get them off the streets for you and your family, okay? With tears streaming down her face, nine-year-old Ellen Garjo hoping those in the know are listening. She lost her seven-year-old friend Chanel Berry one year ago today. The two hanging out two days after Christmas when shots were fired inside a house on Steel Street. I want them to know that she was a really good person and she didn't deserve to pass away. Family members of Barry gathered at the house tonight, the scene of the crime. Garjo feeling much better after getting shot herself. How difficult was it to go through the recovery and to try and get better to where you are now? It was hard. I was um, working really hard, and when I found out Chanel um, passed away, I started crying a lot. After an argument earlier that day on December 27th of 2015, someone shot up the house. Family members believe it could have surrounded jealousy over a man from someone who was at the house earlier. Amen. Amen. Chanel. They released balloons in honor of the little seven-year-old. The memories still fresh. She'll tell you anything that came across her mind. A beautiful dancer, uh, one of the top competitors on her team. And she was everything. She was, she was everything to us. A 23-year-old woman, also her relative, were arrested for this crime, but they were eventually released. Police tell me they are still actively investigating this case. For now, we're live on the city's west side, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action. All right, Aaron, hope they find somebody soon. Thanks.